Welcome to Laquita's Toolbox, where we deliver relevant content in the form of tools that empower entrepreneurs to elevate personally and professionally. Good is only good until greater is envisioned. You know there's another level in you. Here we discuss the tools to get you there. Lean in as Laquita and her guests present you with strategies and insight for unlocking your full potential to realize your boldest dream. Welcome back to another amazing episode of Laquita's Toolbox. I am your host, Laquita Mondley, and I am super excited today, y'all. I know y'all be like, Laquita, you always excited about something, and I am, but today... It's even more so. Had a great conversation, pre-conversation with my next guest, Miss Zandra Evans. She is the CEO and founder of Zandra TV Network. You guys that follow us all the time, you know the drill. Get something to write with and something to write on because you do not want to miss the tools that Zandra will be giving out today. I guarantee you from personal experience, they will change your life. Entrepreneur. I don't know, preneur, career professional, it doesn't matter where you find yourself at in this particular phase of your walk of life. You want to stop what you're doing, pay serious attention and take some copious notes as Zandra blesses us with some tools today on Laquita's toolbox. But before we bring Zandra up uh, into the studio, let me take a moment to thank our sponsors at Covenant Press. They are a faith-based Christian apparel and accessory shop where we as believers can shop online for clothing and accessories that allow us to wear the message of the love of Jesus Christ. Go out to www.covenant-press.com. Again, that's www.covenant-press.com. Shop until you drop, but don't click off of those pop-ups too quickly because they contain valuable discount codes that when you apply those discount codes at the checkout, you can receive some amazing savings on your purchase at Covenant Press. Hey, hey, Ms. Zandra, how are you today? I am doing very well. I'm so glad to be here, Laquita. I can't He's wait. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time. <laughs> no, that's right, because we had this schedule, reschedule. Schedule. Well, you know how my schedule is. Now, listen, you know. I, I do the best that I can, but sometimes it get a little rough. You know what? I can't even I can't even say nothing because it's not like, you know, my schedule don't be doing some strange things. But you know what? Yeah. Today is the appointed time. It's the appointed time today yeah. for you to come and bless Laquita's Toolbox audience with some amazing tools today. So listen, for the few people that might not know who you are, because I don't even know how they don't know the Zandra TV network. I, I don't know because you showing up everywhere, <laughs> everywhere everywhere but for the few people that might not know please take a time and introduce yourself and let our guests know who you are and what you do well 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 i mean you know that i could take up the whole you know when you've been in corporate for 40 years uh you could take up the whole time talking about it but i'm a corporate vet um of 40 years um that literally I would consider myself to be extremely loyal because I only worked for two companies in 40 years and I got laid off from my company seven years ago. And so getting laid off uh, put, propelled me into my exit strategy. It was not to own a TV network. It was to really do motivational, inspirational speaking. I put a mic in my hand and let me go. Uh, and then um, to become a best-selling author. And I did that of uh, multiple books. And, and I also wanted to use my um, leadership and transformation coaching uh, certification to be able to help women to earn a seat at the leadership table, but more importantly, to keep it. So I did all those things. That's who I am. I, you know, I'm a Texas uh, girl, but, you know, my whole family is from Texas. Uh, I did leave to, uh, to work in uh, Silicon Valley for a long period of time, but I'm back in Texas now. Got a little what I call a micro studio where we actually help small business entrepreneurs become TV producers and create additional revenue streams. That is Zandra Evans. Got two kids and five grandchildren. <laughs> Listen, I love the grandbabies. Yeah. I love, I love my children, but I love my yes. grandbabies. <laughs> Listen, I love like the, there was something you said there, even in your introduction 
not only do, because it's important, we all have the ability to obtain something, but the maintaining it is the, it can seem to be the issue. And I love um, how you mentioned that, that um, not only do you teach women how to get there, but you teach them how to stay there. Yes. That, that is very, very important. Um, as well as the work that you're doing there with the Zandra TV network. And it's funny, like that wasn't the goal for you in your head. <laughs> the mission. Sure. Was- I had to get close in. It wasn't a mission. <laughs> like, the mission. like that was not the original mission. <laughs> when God said, um, excuse me, excuse me, I have something else for you to do. And that something else has been absolutely powerful. I, I remember the first time that I met you and I'm thinking you were talking and I'm thinking in my head, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This is the blessing that I have been waiting on because as an entrepreneur, as a, I don't care where you are in your entrepreneurial journey, you know, TV matters. And that's like the creme de la creme. If I could get on TV, that means I have arrived or at best the perception of my target audience is I have arrived. And if you could take just a minute to just kind of break down why streaming TV matters, why should small business entrepreneurs not look at that as impossible, but look at the possibilities and get yourself there quickly? Yeah, you know what? Let me let me remove the myth. Um, um, the myth of it, it it is not for me or it's out of my reach. I want to remove that myth today. Um, God called me to this uh, ministry. This is a ministry for me, uh, I'm, you know, in the marketplace to be able to help small business entrepreneurs um, literally scale and grow their business globally. When I think about it. How are you going to scale and grow your business if you stay just in your local neighborhood? It's kind of no way to do it, y'all. I mean, some people can become overnight success because the barbecue place is good or, you know, you know, my clothing store. You know, it's it's that small percentage. Right. 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 But but what what streaming TV does is it levels the playing field for small business like me, like you. It levels the playing field. If I could have a commercial being featured on TV Mm -hmm. within my budget, what I could pay for every month. Yes. yes. Why wouldn't I do that to scale and grow my business globally? If I could be featured on TV and have not a five minute interview, but a 30 minute interview and keep it on TV for a year with a sizzle reel just for you that you can use in your speaker kit on your website, in your signature, why wouldn't you do it? We are always looking for that five minutes of fame. Oh, I want to be on Good Morning Somebody, right? I mean, we, you know, every, that's what people are thinking. But why wouldn't you want 30 minutes of glory for a year versus five minutes of fame? Come on now. Come yeah. on. Don't think of the temporary, but think of the long term. Yeah. And, and, and it makes perfect sense. It doesn't have to be. This is something that should be somewhere in your marketing plan. And it doesn't matter whether you're selling widgets. It, it doesn't matter whether you're selling widgets, dog food, you know. It doesn't matter what you do. It, it really does. People it have really, to know you exist. You, you, it's exposure marketing. So, yes. you know, I'll be, I think about it and I go, you know, we we have just become accustomed uh, to believe that we can't. So I'm going I'm to talk about mine first. Because it all starts in the mind. Yes. Our mindset, we always want to pretend as though we're reframing our mindset, but all you're doing is putting a new frame on an old thought process. Oh, say that again. Say that again. You're putting a new frame on an old thought process. Yes. Reframing, I I got a picture over here uh, in my office. And in my office, I put my family right? Who are all deceased Mm -hmm. in a new frame, but the oldness of what it was back then is not what it is today. So you understand what I'm saying? So we live in an old mindset, but we put a new frame around it. It, You 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 can't, 
you got to start dealing with your mindset that you can yeah. have everything you desire if you seek God for it. Come on now. That's real. That's real good. You can't, you can't put old wine into new wine. Skin. New wine it don't skin. work like that. Come on. It, it don't work like that. Like, it I mean, like you know, it, it would literally come out, yes, literally it come out. Yes, it, it it the, the vessel isn't made for that. It's Absolutely. not made for that. And so I, I love that we have to truly redevelop our mindset. You, It has to be made new. You have to renew your mind. That old thinking and the old way of doing, it worked for a time and a season, but yeah. where you're trying to go, yes, that frame of mind, that way of thinking isn't going to take you into your expected in that desired place, whatever you want to call it. It's not going to take you there. It's not going to cause you to conquer it or occupy it long term. You've got to come into a new frame of mind. And it sounds good the way we saying that y'all like we dropping some great quotes and I, I hope y'all writing them down. But the actual doing of it does take some work. And again, we, we're talking about why streaming TV matters. But before we can get to all of the nuts and bolts of that, uh, Zandra is taking us on a on a an amazing journey, and the first thing you have to do is reframe your mind. You have to change your thinking so that you one truly believe that I deserve to be on TV. Two, I can afford to be on TV, and three, I can occupy that I can occupy that place until he come. Like you won't get. Come on. Because here's, got- like, here's the deal. Because <laughs> <laughs> here's the deal. Business ain't what it used to be. Now, when I was a little girl, I grew up on TV and it had rabbit ears and the TV went off at midnight. The flag and the song went and then it went to all these rainbow colors. Yeah. Nothing else on TV. In fact, I was the remote control for TV when I grew up. Say it because I'd have to come from across. Sometimes I had to stay by the TV because something I had on was being attracted to the rabbit ears to get a good clear signal for my parents. You better say it. I could be at the Feel across the street playing, and my mama would open up that window <laughs> I grew up. and call my name, and I'd run home and run. And she was upstairs. I run up them steps like, "Yes, ma'am, okay. turn that TV, girl." Okay, oh. turn the TV. Just okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> so can you imagine that having the mindset of a TV that go off at midnight with an antenna in today's environment? No, that's not gonna work. Now, let somebody come in your house and say, you're going to be like, they're going to be like, girl, did you see she had an antenna? That don't even work. I mean, that don't work no more. You, you can't signal. even catch a signal. Like everything, that everything is digital. So yes. if everything is digital, I mean, everything, then you've got to create your digital footprint. You yes. need a digital landscape and strategy for your business. If there are 8 billion plus Google searches a day, where do you show up? Come and on if now. you ain't showing up on the first three to five pages as being the best life coach, then you slowly going out of business. For sure. How if you're not find you, how if you're not showing up in the first three to five choices on page number one, <laughs> I know that's right. You know, <laughs> if you're not showing up in them first three, five, three to five, and I'm be honest, I don't even know if I go down to five on the first page. I for sure don't go to page two, three, and four. Yeah, I'm. You know, yeah. I'm just not doing yeah. that. Yeah, no, and, and that's absolutely right. You do want to absolutely captivate uh, Google. And here's the thing, though. Google is like an animal. And so I don't I, I don't handle animals because I know that I would have to feed them, um, you know, give them fresh water. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I'm, I'm too busy. But Google is your animal, and it's everybody's animal. And if you don't feed it every day with content, mm-hmm. you fall behind. Yes. And somebody else gets on top of you. It is the renowned universal place where people go to at least uh, check you out and Mm -hmm. see if you say who you are really are and if your message is consistent. So if that be the case, what are you going to do for your digital strategy for your business? You must work on that. Now, streaming TV is the best way. Why? There's a gazillion people on social media. 
Yes. A gazillion. Okay, I'm going to leave it at a gazillion. <laughs> but streaming TV is a space where you own your content, the delivery of that content, and the marketing of that content. Social platforms should be used to market that you own TV. Come on. They shouldn't Come be on. the place that you live in giving your intellectual knowledge and property away for free. Why are you doing that? Why are mm. you doing that? Right. Okay. It Come on, that makes sense. I mean, that makes sense. I, I remember when you when you broke that down for me. It it really makes sense because when we put stuff out on the on the social platforms, the social platforms own it. They tell you it's your content, but if your content violates a rule, it don't matter if you know you violated the rule. You could be unaware of what the rule is. So let's be real. Who reads the community rules? Most people don't. They don't you read know. the rules, but they and then they can make up a rule that wasn't even written down. That wasn't even there. They could tell you, you know, the, the interpretation of the AI that's reviewing your content or the individual. And you could get something back that says, oh, it just violates community policy. But what policy, ma'am? Tell I know me that. and I, I won't do it again. Right. And you never get an answer. And mm -hmm. so you lose access to whatever that was forever and a day unless you have it backed up somewhere. In some other place, yeah. But when you yeah. actually own it, all of the social media platforms—I ain't gonna name them because y'all know them, right? <laughs> Our favorites <laughs> ones, all of them, right? <laughs> some of them in court today. <laughs> but you, you don't know, own you your content. If you, you don't. You're giving it away on there. Yeah. I just got off a call um, prior to this, Laquita, talking to a client that's getting ready to come to streaming TV. Uh, and why are they coming to streaming TV? Because some social platform uh, where they had 200,000, over 200,000 views, uh, shut them down. <laughs> I can't even and imagine their the content? heartache. Like, wait a minute, where's my stuff at? It was a lie, too. So you wow. think about that. So now you don't have that content. They're not going to restore you, give you your content. It's just, it's a mess. So my, you know, I guess I'm on a personal crusade that mm -hmm. says for way too long, you have given away your value. Now, I mm -hmm. do believe in giving. I'm giving today. I'm mm -hmm. sharing my knowledge with you, but I'm not giving away all my knowledge because that is what God has given me. He has endowed me with intellectual knowledge and property that I shouldn't just be giving away freely and at the risk that the platform could take it away from me. Come so it on. is high noon. I'm trying to wake y'all up that Come it's time now. for you to own your content, own your the distribution of your content and get on streaming TV where you can literally make money with your content. With your content. Come on now. And that and that's true, you know. That is so true. That is so so true. We you, we put the effort in, we put the hard work in, the creativity you've dumped countless hours and resources into making sure that your content, whatever it is, meets a quality check that your target market says, your ideal client says, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to invest in to you, whatever your business is. And then to have someone on a social media platform, snatch it away. Yeah, I've, You've taken the time to build your group or build your communities on these platforms that allow you to have a community. You build your following and then they shut your page down. And so now you got to go create a new page and convince your former followers that this is not a hack page. This I, this is me. They took my stuff down. This is me. Come follow me. I know the way. Come to the new page, right? Like, <laughs> and it, I mean, it's a process. We're not going to get off social media. We understand that. We're not going to get off social media. Oh, and we shouldn't. We and need we, it. But we it. need it to yes. market it. There you for go. For us on where we own our content. Right. Not, not where you don't own your it's it's a it's a wonderful system to market where my the platform where my mm -hmm. content I own it. It the, should be just a part of your customer's it's journey. It's just a part of the marketing, and so those, yes. those are your free marketing tools. Yes. I call those the free marketing tools, but it is not the marketing tools that is going to um, be straight conversion for you. Right. I always tell people how I don't care if you boost it, this and a boost of the post and them whatever you do. Uh, 99% of us don't get one, one, one business client out of that. Come on, It is exposure marketing. And so mm -hmm. what I want to tell you today is for all the days of my life, marketing has been misrepresented. 
So I want to remove this myth mm. today. Marketing has been Come misrepresented on. to be, oh, if I got $50,000 or $1,000 or $2,000 or $9,000, I don't care how much money you pay for a commercial. I promise you that no matter what the dollar amount is, it has never been anything other than exposure. It has never been conversion. And so get that out of your, just put that, take that out of your pipe and stop smoking that. Because it ain't. <laughs> Like my mom used to say, put that in a pipe and smoke it. So you, it is not. It's, it's not. not. So I'm saying it's never been. And so I use the analogy of a great meal. Sometimes we sit in here looking at a commercial and a nice juicy steak comes up and the potato looks good and the vegetables are so richly green. And we are like, ooh, that look good. You know what? Next time I'm out, I'm going to go to that restaurant. We don't mm -hmm. jump up out of our house on that day when we see that commercial. No. Put no, on our to see it in multiple our car times and go get it. Come no, on. but if I'm out in the streets and I'm hungry and, and I've seen the commercial enough times, exposure marketing, mm -hmm. then I may stop at that restaurant and get a steak if I felt like a steak that day. So mm -hmm. you have to understand that all marketing 100% of your marketing is exposure. It is not conversion. That that's now see, that's the truth right there. I hope y'all was listening because it, it, she simplified it. She took away the myth but, and because it's true. You just look at it from your own habits as a consumer. I have never jumped up off my couch to go get anything immediately. First of all, if I'm on my couch, I, I, you know, you know, like, it might have made business. me hungry and I went to my kitchen. Like <laughs> I, I went to my kitchen. Okay, okay, I'm gonna make me something. But at the end of the day, we don't jump up and go and get those items. If I see a cute dress um, that comes up on a commercial, if I see some face product come up on a commercial, mm -hmm. I do not go and buy that today. Mm -hmm. However, if you keep if I keep seeing that commercial, over but that face wash that I see over. people's skin come clearing on. up. Girl, the next time I need some, I'm getting that. You, you but that might back. be you, six weeks from now. Come on, you have to look. It's it's the buyer psychology that we, we've got to become familiar with you. Okay, we've got to become familiar with you and something in the consistency of seeing it. Let me say that again: the consistency of seeing something builds that trust factor. I see it over and and it, it's not a conscious thing that we do. It's a subconscious thing that happens. I consistently see this product or service over and over and over and over and over again. And some things take place on the inside of me that I didn't know that was taking place. And all of a sudden, ooh, voila, I need to get that cranberry slushie that I saw. <laughs> what was that commercial for that cranberry slushie? Yeah. Who, was that? Where was it at? Was that at? And it's, I'm going to get that cranberry slushy. But how many times have I saw it? Probably <laughs> how how many times have I saw it? Because that's when we're looking at But that's the other thing, too, yes. Maclita. Back in the day, we ain't had that many commercials. We had about maybe six, ten commercials mm. that was playing on all channels. Uh, today, all look channels. at all the commercials that we have. But here's the thing. You need to be consistent. A consistent message and you have mm -hmm. to be persistent. So this is where Come the on. con and the per works. Consistent, persistent. I got to mm. keep putting it out there over and over again. People tell me, girl, every time I get on some social media platform, it's you talking about why streaming matters. <laughs> That's what matters. That's not, what not, matters. I, not because I'm trying to make money, but because I have a passion for small business entrepreneurs. And I am sick and tired of being sick and tired of mm. us getting left behind. Yes. I want to be left behind. I want to level playing field so you could be on TV. Period. Okay. End of discussion. That's it. That mm. that consistency and yeah. in that usually the being able to consistently convey your message usually is what causes a small business to suffer because let's just be honest. If it's a small business, you're just starting, whatever the case may be consistently conveying a message can get to be costly. So we're, we're looking at why streaming matters today, y'all. If y'all just jumping in here, we're talking about why streaming TV matters. Mm -hmm. How consistently can a small business 
show up on linear TV? How consistently can one do that? You have major corporations that are having a problem doing that because of yeah, the but cost. Because, because of the perceived value of it. Let me say that. Because of the perceived value of it, right? Because you can yeah, even visit yeah. your local... I, my some of my local channels, local stations in your city, and you walk in and say, "Hey, I will put my commercial up here." I even went and done my commercial. All you gotta do is show it. You're looking at a minimum of ten grand. Listen, you mm-hmm. know, back in the day, I, I'm telling y'all, this is so crazy because I, you know, when I first started, I didn't start to be on TV. So that's the first thing, um, you know, TV, as far as from the east to the west, as far as I'm concerned about what I wanted to do, mm-hmm. uh, I want I wanted to get a mic in my hand and get on stage in front of thousands and do my thing. And, and God said, no, you want a mic around your neck in front of millions. And I said, OK, I accept the call. But you have to look at it, not for fame or fortune, but just because I believe I have a big message to help the world to not just, you know, uh, Gandhi says, be the change that the world needs to see. But I'm telling you to be the change that the world needs to experience. Come on. So we have to create experiences for people. Mm. You don't know what broccoli tastes like. It's just green if you don't try it. Come and on. so my thing is, you've got to try to get into a place where you can make a significant difference and impact for your business and where you own your content. That's that, that, that's it in a nutshell. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Did you get that? I hope you got that. But don't worry. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. <laughs> I don't care where you're catching it at. YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, <laughs> Apple, Spotify. It's a podcast. So if you didn't miss it, Hit that rewind button. Go back and listen to it again. This is the type of, Zandra is sharing with us today, the type of information that should be heard more than one time. Repetition is the key to knowledge, right? I'm learning it over and over and over again. It's inside of me and then I can execute. And that's when you start walking in some wisdom when you can execute it. So y'all listen to this over and over. Listen to it about five times. Listen to it about five times. Let it soak in your spirit so that, it can begin the process of going back to what she said in the beginning, changing the way that we think. Listening to this over and over again, picking up those relevant points that you may have missed the first or the second time, it begins the process of changing the way that you think. And let me reiterate to you what I said at the beginning of the podcast. It doesn't matter whether you thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, you're already an entrepreneur, or if you're a career professional, because those of you that are career professionals may be saying, well, look, what what any of this got to do with me? If you don't change the way you think, how in the world are you going to be upwardly mobile? It's not going to happen. Oh, let me talk about the people that's got a corporate job. Come on. I had a corporate job. So so listen, I got to talk about the corporate job uh, (laughs) because what what I realized is, is, is two things. So had a corporate job for 40 years. I had never been laid off from a job. I had never quit a job. Well, I guess I, I could say I quit Intel, but that really was because so I could start my own business consulting firm. And then I went back to corporate. So two corporate jobs in my life. But here's the thing that I figured out. This is so important to people in corporate America. Whether you pull the trigger or they pull the trigger, Sooner or later, a trigger will be pulled. Mm, They're going to lay you off or you're going to you going to uh, fire them. Now, you it, it, it's it's going to happen. Right. So what you do during your time in corporate is you set yourself up because at the end of the day in corporate America, the mm-hmm. reason why they hired you is because you're the most valuable asset and resource. They need mm, what you got. On. Come on. So if you really understand I'm the most valuable asset, then the first thing you need to be doing is making sure that your development plan at that company is pouring back into the most valuable asset. So I need training. I mm-hmm. need to be up on digital strategy. I mm-hmm. need to be on to this. I need to become a producer on the side. I need to be setting up Zandra Evans Come in on. that corporate environment while I'm getting paid my six-figure income. Come on. Come on. So the next thing is do not develop an exit strategy in bad times. You develop an exit strategy in good times. Why? 
you have more options available to you when you ain't got the stress of it, how Ooh, I'm going uh, next on. week. Say that again. So, that, so that that, again. that's the preparation. And then the third thing, you are in corporate America. And you know what? You start to get comfortable because everything is embedded. The clients are embedded. Even if you calling on somebody, you represent that company. The employees can become people that you're coaching and practicing on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At the end Come of on. the day, it's a different skill set when you decide to become an entrepreneur. And so start your journey while you're in corporate America, getting acquainted in the community. Because the community so, got to like you, not the corporate America people. So, so what did we... <laughs> so, so would it be fair to say while we're in corporate America, we should be creating and elevating our personal brands? When you so show you up are, in the space, you have to on. think about it, right? Your, come on, your personal brand, who you are, your brand. Yes, yes. That company hired you because you had something to offer them. Yes. Okay, let's just leave it right there. So that means I must be valuable to them. Because when I think about it on a global scale, mm -hmm. if I own a company with a thousand employees, if all thousand employees decide not to come in one day, I'm going out of business. Surely two days, I'm out of business. You're out of business. Because the most valuable asset is the human asset. The, the human capital is the most valuable the asset. The human asset, the human come capital on. is the most important. Therefore, if that be true, what are you doing to pour into this brand? So I'm solidifying this not just in corporate America, but in the community. So mm. figure out who, what nonprofits you want to be aligned with. Figure out where you want to serve on a board. Figure out, because see, if somebody had told me this, I'd mm. have been well prepared. I Nobody told me. So now I'm giving it freely. Set Come yourself on. up in the community. And when I say in the community, I do not mean your neighborhood. Oh, come on. Come I mean, on. in the community. So the community is global. Community is local. Community is national. So I want you to broaden your mindset mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that you can be successful if you decide to become an entrepreneur. If you, if you decide. I'm, I'm thinking like some of when we're looking at what's going on in uh, business news, whether you're picking up Business News Weekly, Harvard Review, yes. or any of those, those, those publications, when they're talking about these top COOs, CFOs, these top level execs, it's these people are personally branded. These companies are headhunting these people to come. It, it, it's an honor and a privilege for you to be working for my company, for you to be the CFO of my company, the COO, the CEO. So when you when you hear their names, you're not thinking about the company that they work for or used to work for. You're thinking about the powerhouse that's coming and everything is going to rest. They, this person coming to occupy this position is going to change the game. They stop value. You just shot up because they hire such and such. So that's what I hear you saying. That if is you exactly were, if, what I'm saying. Oh, come on now. That's beautiful. That is the, that, that is <laughs> that's the beautiful. formula for success. Come you, on. I, I, I'm, I'm not, I, you know, everybody don't want to be no entrepreneur. I, I get it. And, and, and I know what it is to be corporate and I know what it is to be an entrepreneur as well. But all I'm saying for you is somebody will pull the trigger one day. And mm -hmm. if you're not ready, it will crater you and cause you to literally propel downward in a spiral mm. because you won't know what to do. Because you won't so know what to do. So create your exit strategy and know and start building and working on your brand mm -hmm. while you're in corporate America. Period. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. It, I mean, there was like about five other things that just shot into my head right then we could talk about, but I know our time is limited. I know our time is well, limited. I also <laughs> want to just say, can I just say this? Because I know yes. our time is limited. But I want to talk about entrepreneurs too. Come on. Because come on. you have a responsibility, entrepreneurs, to also um, continue to build your brand. Yes. Now, he, we got, you know, I'm telling you right now, imposter syndrome is messing up a whole bunch of people. Let me you pick can't up all be of me. my hands. And you, you can't Let me pick be up me. all of my hands. And who God right made here. me to be <laughs> and, and the vision he didn't put in me. No, be you. Yes. And so the other week I did a session and, and I hit the stage and I said, let the real you stand. Please stand up. Wow. Let the real you please stand, stand up. up. Because mm. when you're willing to stand firm, 
to shod your feet and stand firm on who you are yes, and who God made you to be, then you can start to really solidify your brand because the brand sits on top of the essence of mm. who you are. But you got to know who that is. The brand sits on top of the essence of who you are. I love that. Yeah. Let the yeah. real you stand up and know that the brand, your brand, sits on the essence of who you are. That's quotable. I'm going to quote you by three, Come four on times. Come on, quote it in. I'm going to quote you by three, four times, Andre. But I tell you, next time, about three, three, four times, you see it come across my social, just smile. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will. Come on, just smile. <laughs> Listen, let the real, it, because imposter syndrome is real. It is very real. And it is debilitating. It is debilitating. And you're not only robbing yourself of reaching your full capacity, but those people that God has divinely connected to you that need you to pour into them, you robbing them too. So if, when the enemy can debilitate you with imposter syndrome, he's not just taking you out. He t- he's taking out generations. And let me, let me, let me, <laughs> let me also tell you something. I always tell people, just call me Magneto because I, I believe that I, you become magnetic. Mm. And you actually really know who you are mm-hmm. and you accept the call on your life. Yes. You become magnetic. Come on. I don't have to do anything but show up and change the atmosphere. I, I, I have the power and the authority mm. to show up, enter the room and change the atmosphere. Come on. But that ain't just for me. I ain't over here boasting. I'm just telling you, when are you going to stand in your full authority? Mm. When are you going to know who you are and stand in that? Yes. And when are you going to decide to activate your faith and walk in a room and change the atmosphere? It's totally up to you. I, yes. I get that. You know, is there work to be done? You got to yes. do the work. Yes. I, I have a lot of work to be done. In the last seven years, I didn't have a lot of work. Oh, you know, <laughs> those people that came and gone and hurt my feelings. And I was like, why are you, why are your feelings hurt? God mm. called you to this. He's toughening you up. Come on. So that you're able to be, uh, stand against the wiles of the enemy. Enemy, come on. Therefore, you're going to have to have some things happen. But I'm sure about who I am. I come know on. what I represent. And come I on. know what I'm willing to do and not do based on my values come and on. the principles of the, nothing other than the living word. The living word. That's Listen. That. Know who you, you are. Come on. Your identity matters. Yeah. Your knowing who you are and who you are absolutely matters because when yeah. that's what I hear you saying when I know my identity I can't be moved stuff gonna happen but I won't be moved for my purpose Come when, on. I, when I know my know your identity know who you are and who you yeah. are understand your purpose and walk in your destiny the, in that order because I heard you say it in that order it's, it's, it's really in that order come on at the end of the day that's what it is so mm. we wasting time y'all we're wasting time trying to fit in. Mm, come on. I, I think it's a beautiful thing to not fit in. Well, I, I know I recall the word said that we are peculiar people. Come on. I didn't know. You know I was going to say. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care that I fit in. Mm-mm. You know, I know. I know. Every, yeah, and here's the thing, y'all. You know, and I don't even know where this interview is going. But at the end of the day, everybody ain't going to like you. Everybody ain't going to love you. And you need to be okay with that. With that, uh, yeah. But stand firm on what God has called you to come do. On. Um, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what circumstance, because circumstances ain't nothing. The, the, the circumstances happen in life. Yes, they do. They don't define who you are. Come on now. They only create depth in your character. Come so on. You got to know that when, when life circumstances serve me, mm-hmm, I know mm-hmm. that I'm being refined. Come on. I ain't mad yeah. about it. Do, not, listen, <laughs> you about to make me preach. Come on. <laughs> Yes. Come on. Those those things that happen in our life, we can't keep things from happening. But what we can do is have a proper response. And it is that response, like you That's said, right it there. refines us. It yeah. refines us. as It improves us. It causes us to shine, right? It, it causes us to reflect the image. I'm an image bearer. It causes us to reflect the image yeah. of Christ, the one who sent you. The one who anointed you, the one who yes. appointed you, it causes us to do all of those things. Mm-hmm. But it's it's got to start somewhere. 
just got my say. identity. I got to know who I am and whose I am. And when I do that, I understand the purpose about this. and the plan that God yeah. has for my life. Right. But why are we still talking about this in 2023 that people are imposters mm-hmm. and don't know who they are? What what happened? What happened you to know, cause this, this huge upheaval of all the things that are occurring in the environment? What happened? Do you ever I, wonder what do I think? I think that it is the overflow of information. Like what do I like? What do I mean by that? So you you gave a perfect example um, earlier about how commercials used to show up on TV, how TV programming work because it's a program. It's designed to program you. Yeah. Let me. I'm gonna say that again. It's a program and it's designed to program you. So when I am being inundated, yeah. overloaded, overwhelmed. My sensors are going off the chart because this person is saying that this is the thing. This person is saying that is the thing. This person is saying do this way and do that way. And whether we realize it or not, unconsciously, that stuff is programming you to be stuck and remain stuck and always chasing after the shiny baubles, but never taking the time to discover who I am? What's my core values? What is it that I like? What is it that I want to be? Yes, we still ask children that, but today children and adult who hadn't figured it out yet are so inundated and over flooded with things and stuff to sit in a quiet space and reflect like that. Most people can't do it. Yeah. And you know what? And I think that we have. And, and so I love that you said that, um, Laquita, because we have coined ourselves as the home of positive programming. Mm. It's like, ain't gonna be no, we not having all that. We having <laughs> positive programming, programming. To help you navigate your life. But I guess, you know, I think about it and I say all of the um, data that's out there, you know, all mm-hmm. of the platforms, everything that's out there, um, it's all smoke and mirrors. Mm-hmm. And so people think, you know, I can you can create any storyline you want to and have people going like, oh my goodness, they do, 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 do. you know. Um somebody asked me the other day about um my my the you know my numbers. I was like, my numbers, you know, numbers on, on social platforms. I said, well, if I put them all together, I'm probably around 10 or 15,000. But at the end of the day, I didn't pay for one of them. Not one of them. And so what happens is people go and pay to have all of this boosted uh, subscribers and people that like, you know, in, in there. So their numbers are big, but you paid for that growth. Mm-hmm. When are we going to understand right. that there's power in organic growth? So my growth is organic. I ain't paid nobody. I it's organic. I started mm-hmm. out with 85 people on, on one of the platforms. And now that platform is over six or 7,000. I'm not boasting about the number. What I'm telling you is it was organic growth because of the consistent message, what I got to say, who I show up and be. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. I'm helping other people to understand who they are. I'm giving away. I'm giving spewing pearls. I ain't casting it (laughs) to swine. I'm literally giving (laughs) information to help you be better. What is wrong? Come on now. Come on. Come on, it, it's come on, and 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 it's so true. It's, come on, don't don't do the smoke and mirrors. Take do the work, do the work, do the work, and that you you go back to showing up consistently and delivering the message, and it really goes back to again w- what you just said. If I don't, if I haven't done the work to understand who I am, if I haven't got my mind right, my mindset isn't right, I can't deliver a consistent message. It'll always be hither, thither, and every whither, because I'm hither, thither, and every whither. It's all over the place. I might be showing up every day, posting two, three times a day, but it won't make no sense at all. It it won't go towards what 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 is she saying? You know, and and I can speak to that from personal experience. Yeah. Yeah. I can speak to that from personal experience, but when you know who you are and what you're doing, your message is the same over and over and over and over and over again. And people will come to you. 
yeah. your target audience. And you'll even catch a lot of folks in the net, as they say. Even some folks you wasn't trying to catch, you're going to catch them too. They will be drawn to you because you have the deposit that they need in order to get to that next place they want to be at. Yeah, that's how they push out a little further. Yeah, throw like the throw the net on the other side of the boat when you've been consistent and you'll you'll be fisher of men for sure. Mm, come on. Fishers of men, right? Come on. <laughs> this is it. This is that's it. What it Absolutely. It does. You, you can't give up. It can't be any give up in you. It can't be any nope. give up in you. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Listen, Ms. Zandra, it has been a pleasure having you on the podcast. I hate to end it, but we got to go, y'all. Don't worry. You're going to be able to find Ms. Zandra. She everywhere. <laughs> but before we go, is there any last thing you'd like to leave with the audience? And please leave your contact information. Okay, that, that's really good. Um, you know, I think the one thing that I want to leave with you is um, I don't talk about streaming TV because I own a network. I talk about streaming TV because it's an untapped market. Mm -hmm. And I believe that small business entrepreneurs um, need to tap into this untapped market and create at least three to four additional revenue streams for yourself. Yes, so yes. stop playing. I said I was going to start... Uh, I was going to start me a mastermind that's called Stop Playing. Mm. It's time to stop playing and to take your business seriously and make sure that you have a digital strategy for your business. Because if there is, if you don't write it and make it plain mm -hmm. in a strategy for your business, it will never occur. And so I want to encourage you, go out and go to Be On ZTV. You can just go to Be On ZTV, B-E-O-N-Z-T-V.com. Check out all of the stuff. Get you a free discovery call because that look, I do. I give it away for free, and and come and ask me and have that one on one discussion about what can we do to help you to soar. Because my my goal is to create impact so that you can scale and grow your business. I'm Zandra Evans, and it's been a pleasure. Wonderful. Listen, y'all. Those links will be in the podcast show notes as well as in the comment sections for those of you that are viewing us across the various social media um, platforms. So don't worry. Like I said, it's a podcast. Replay it. Check them comments and get the links you need to get connected to Zandra so that you can uh, get that free um, information session with her so you can learn more about the power of being on streaming TV. Until next time, I am your host, Laquita Monley. You guys be blessed and have an amazing rest of your day. Take care.